Hey what's up you guys, I've been your guys here bringing another Marvel Legends story of the Marvel Legends and Giant Man Wave Nuke figure. This figure is pretty cool. Um, I don't have every figure in the Wave, but um, this is probably one of the best I can tell from the Wave. Uh, he comes with a couple of accessories. He comes with this knife, which I think is pretty cool. The same Warpath, Drax knife, but they painted it differently and I think it works really nice for this one. He also comes with this alternate head, which is... Um, the American flag tattooed on its face and he has hair and this one is his cybernetic head and he's bald and he's missing half of his skin so that's that he also comes with this gun which I don't think works for the figure but Shardimus Prime he gave this gun to the shield agents in this wave and I think that looked really cool and he also comes with this vest which I don't like because um pause on this but I think Nuke he looks better shirtless and you'll see why, because mostly in the comics, he is seen shirtless and fighting shirtless. And I think that looks a lot cooler. Let me take this off. It's pretty easy to take off as well. And the vest is cool itself. I just don't think it works for the figure. It comes with um, shotgun shells and pouches, grenades, and the sheath for his sword. So that's pretty cool. And he also comes with the giant man piece, which is very nice. Very excited to build that. So the figure itself is pretty cool. Uh, again, the head sculpt is really nice. I like how the teeth are yellow. So yeah, that's pretty cool. He kind of looks like Steve Rogers, but he's not him. He's a um, super soldier, but he's not really like the the real super soldier like Captain America is. He has this really cool belt. Pouches on the back. His pegles in the back. Pouches on the side. So this is all new sculpt down here. So that's very cool. You can even see the wrinkles in the pants. The boots look pretty cool. He has laces in there. There's no real paint detail besides on the um, the belt and on this. So other than that, there's no paint detail. And if you count the teeth as well. But yeah. Very nice. Um, he has two open palms. So that's, you can do anything. He doesn't have any trigger finger holding hands. Which is why I said this gun doesn't make sense this figure because it's just holding it this entire time so I don't think that works but you can have like ducks different things in there like crowbars bats whatever you want to use for this figure head like the articulation is very nice head looks up very far moves down side to side arm moves back and forth up and down sweat the bicep double jointed elbow wrist moves side to side up and down and very nice ab crunch waist swivel leg moves forward and back and out very far he has a thigh swivel, it's a little tight. Double jointed knees, which I didn't show the, the knees. He actually has um, a shin guard and it has paint detail on that as well. So that's very cool. He's a calf swivel, which is very nice. Foot moves back and forth and ankle pivot. So this figure is pretty cool. I really like it. Um, underrated character, underrated figure. Um, not a lot of people know about him. He's pretty cool. He was um, very relevant in the Death of Wolverine story, which Marvel um, put out in 2014 or 13 whatever that year was so here is next to cap you can see how much bigger he is and how much taller he is so he's the real super soldier he's basically like a copy which he didn't like come out right so yeah all right i give this figure um an 8.5 very cool figure um pick it up if you can the giant man wave isn't really like showing up in places but if you check big bad toy store they have cases of um, different figures or the figures individually or um, online Amazon like that but he should be showing up in retail soon so yeah check it out alright guys take care peace